remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? I came across this video online and I felt compelled to share it with you because I'm a good guy. Full disclosure. I don't believe the video is authentic. I believe it's fake. I believe it was staged. Ain't no way that this woman and her husband were sitting on the couch and she asked him this simple question and he gives the clap back of the century while she just happens to be recording it. Question she asked. Hey, babe. Before we got married, you used to buy me expensive gifts and jewelry. How come you don't do that anymore? And he said, have you ever seen a fisherman give a worm to a fish he already caught? <laughs> That's cold, bloody man. That's cold. Cold is funny, but unfortunately, it's very true. When people are in relationships for an extended amount of time, they happen to just sometimes take each other for granted. And when that happens, when a person is not getting what they signed up to get, what you advertised, it could cause them to lose interest in the relationship and seek companionship outside of the relationship. It could cause them to shut down in the relationship. It is the reason why I wrote the song, Clean Up Man. Lyrics, baby don't cry, pull yourself together. Let Willie D take you to that other level. Rub you the right way, miss. Compared to me, Johnny don't know shh. I'm in a class all by myself. Get some of this and you don't want nobody else. So if you plan on staying with your groom, don't come around my bedroom. Get your hands off the bedpost. Married women, they need it the most. See, after a few times in the sack, homeboy tends to get a little relaxed. He starts hanging out late with his friends. Yeah, that's when I come in. But not to his house, because that ain't nothing but a slaughter. We go to my crib and get a room at the Ramada. Now, once I get your woman alone, it's on like a pot of neck bone. And when I call, she'll pretend that I'm her girlfriend. She might call me Stan a friend, but I'm the clean up man. I'm trying to help you, fellas. I'm trying to help you. I ain't trying to gas up nobody. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> Another song that you can find some inspiration in is 100 Ways by James Ingram. Compliment what she does. Send her roses just because. If it's violence she loves, let them play, dedicate her favorite song, and hold her closer all night long. Love her today, find 100 ways. I'm telling y'all, man, y'all, you know, y'all be Man, y'all better pay attention. I'm trying to put you up on game. I'm telling you, it works. Do this, fellas. You can thank me later. Go to your woman today. Look at her very closely and find something different about her that you haven't complimented her on yet. Watch what happens. I do this all the time. I pay attention. If I'm with a woman and she changes her fingernail polish, I notice it. And I let her know I notice it. She changed her hairstyle. I don't care how subtle it is. I notice it. And I let her know. Now, I wasn't always like that. But I learned with maturity. Women go through a lot of things to get themselves right for us. Some of them don't like to admit it. They're like, I do this for myself. I'm, I'm going to do this for myself. I'm, I'm, I'm exercising for myself. 
Nah, they do it for us. They do it for us. <laughs> and, and it's nothing wrong with that because we do a whole lot of things for them. Understand that when someone goes through that type of trouble for you, it's cool to acknowledge that. You know, everybody likes to feel appreciated. Everybody likes to feel useful. And ain't nothing like letting a person know, especially, especially your significant other, know that you appreciate them. And especially when they go out of their way to look nice for you, you know, to smell good for you. Let them know. And they will return the favor a thousand times over. Oftentimes, as men, we so focused on providing and protecting, we forget the small things, but women don't. That's all they think about is the small things. Yeah, the big things matter, but the small things uh, that go unnoticed oftentimes, it's the things that really break up relationships. You know? So, that's a little game, y'all, a little free game. I wanted to give y'all, it triggered me, you know, when I saw that video, because I'm like, you know, that is true, like a lot of dudes, I know it was, you know, supposed to be funny and all of that stuff, but ain't nothing funny, man, when relationships get dissolved uh, behind uh, miscommunication and lack of effort. So there it is, fellas, homework, buy your woman something nice, take her somewhere, Compliment her. Do something to show her that you appreciate her. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?